Hello, my name is Alan Walker and I'd like to welcome you here to the second training video on turbocharging your computer. In this movie, I'm going to be taking you to a website called Wise Cleaner and I'm going to show you how to download, install and use two products. One called Wise Registry Editor and the other called Wise Disk Cleaner and hopefully it should get most of the crap out of your registry. First thing I'm going to explain is what is the registry? Well, let's ask the professor. The Windows registry is a database that stores configuration settings and options on Microsoft Windows operating systems. It contains settings for like low-level operating system components, as well as the application running on the platform, the kernel, device drivers, services, SAM, user interface and third party applications all make use of the registry. The registry also provides a means to access counters for profiling system performance. Now, when I was first introduced in Windows 3.1, the Windows registry's primary purpose was to store the configuration information for com based components. With the introduction of Windows 95 and Windows NT, its use was extended to tidy up the profusion of per program any files which had previously been used to store configuration settings for Windows programs. Thanks for explaining that, Professor. Clear as mud. Now, you understand all that because I will be asking questions at the end. If you want to know more about it, type in Windows Registry into the internet and there's no shortage of junk you can read on the subject. And with all that said, let's go to the website. Okay, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to go here and go into Firefox. Again, I'll drag it over into this screen so you can see it. I'm going to type in the address which is www.wisecleaner.com Com. And I'll put the, the address of the website up on the screen at the end after the titles and you just click this wee button here or the enter key and it'll take you here. There's the Wise Register Cleaner and the Wise Disk Cleaner. We'll download the two of them together and if you don't believe me, there it is, it's free. So you click here and it takes you to here, which is CNA, click download and job done. And here we have it. If you don't get a download, just click this wee link here and save file. And you can just close that down. Now go up to the top here and click the wee close down button. And we're now back to the original page. Now, the next one we want is this one. Why is this cleaner? Click here. we will take you to the same scene it, And you click here to download. So anyway, you can close this down. Go into your downloads folder. You can take them, drag them out into your desktop and you can close that down. These are called EXE files, E-X-E. -E. It stands for executable. And basically when you double click on them, it will execute a command. And what that means is it's going to install these programs. So the one I'm going to do just now is this wee beastie, and that is the registry one. So you just double click on it, it'll come up with this. Um, now I've already checked it for viruses uh, previously. You just click next, follow the on-screen instructions, and see this here? Remember in the last video I had to get rid of this? Untick that, and you see if it's back there again. I'm putting in a letter of complaint to these buggers. Right, so anyway, next. Accept agreement, you always have. But, does anybody actually read that crap? Okay, click next. This here will tell you where it's going to put it. Go into next. Now, if you tick this, it won't put a shortcut into... When you click all programs, you'll not find it there because they'll not put it in. That's only for, like, plugins for, like, Photoshop. It's something you run within another program, so you, you really don't need to run it on its own. So that's when you would tick that. Okay, right, go down, next. Create a quick la launch icon. That's if you want it down here, which we don't. Uh, create a desktop icon, which we do. So it's available for whenever we need it. And click next. Install, and it installs it. And you'll see the wee green bar. Some programs can take quite a while, but this one's quite quick. And here we go. Now, it's saying download wise cleaner now. That's quite a cool feature, but we've already done it, so just untick it. And click finish, and there you go. That's it. It's in your computer now. If you had to click in here, and go into control panel, uninstall a program, you scroll right down, wise register cleaner. So if you want to remove it, you just right click uninstall. 
It's very, very, very important. Any single thing you download, make sure you do a virus scan before running it or opening it. And I can't stress that highly enough. I had downloaded these last night. So I had scanned them last night. So that's how I knew they were okay. For those of you that's not familiar with doing a virus scan, what you do on the file, right click and scan with Microsoft Security Essentials. And it is going to scan all the files contained in there. Now it's come up here with a wee tick. Good stuff because there are no viruses on it. I'd be highly surprised if they were that somebody infected it with a virus overnight, but it's clear, so good stuff. Right, so that's how you do your virus scan, and again, I can't stress that early enough. Oh, by the way, that is free from Microsoft. You can download it, so rather than paying £50 for an antivirus, there you go, it's free. Download it, and that's another freebie for you. Well, if you're interested in learning how to download, install Microsoft Security Essentials, why not watch my video called Security Essentials? It's on the same channel and you get that for free as well. Now, to start up a program, double click. It'll come up with this. It appears it's the first time you're using the program. We strongly recommend that you back up your registry first. The first thing is create a system restore point. I recommend that that's done. Create a registry backup. I recommend that is done. I'm not going to melt your brain with letting you know what all this junk is. Just do it. That's all you need to know. So uh, if something goes horribly wrong with your computer, any of the programs you install, if you've got a registry restore point, when you go into the uh, system restore, that point will be restored and it will restore it back to a previous time when your computer worked. This dialog box has come up after uh, doing a system restore point. When you do anything in this, you can undo it. Let's do a scan. Uh, you click scan and it will go through your registry and any files, any garbage, rubbish that you don't need, parts of files that has been left after you've uninstalled previous programs and that's the junk that slows your computer down. It does a scan. To the left hand side you'll see a list of stuff. That's all the things it scans. I'm just going to skip on to the end because it can take a wee bit of time. As you can see it's found 76 items and all we do is go down to the bottom and click start cleaning. When it's done this will come up clean up uh, completed and that's you. You've cleaned your registry. So we click on the next tab and system tune up. It says do you want to further improve Windows performance? You go down here click optimize. It says there there is no item to be optimized because I've already done it. Normally when you click on this, it will do a scan, it will tell you if there are any problems. If there's any problems, you go down here, click optimize, and it will sort it. Now the last tab, when we click on it, this is a registry defragmentation. This is a different beastie from a system defragmenting. This just does the registry. When a computer copies files onto your drive, it doesn't put them in a neat orderly fashion because computers don't work like us. What it does is it finds available space and plops the information down. So there might be a bit of information on the left hand side of your disk and at the opposite side it maybe have some more. What defragmentation does is it gets all the information together and puts it in one area. Now you're probably wondering why do that? Well your disk has got a whiz back and forward looking for bits of files. It will be slower at accessing the files. So if they're defragmented, because they're all in the one location, you'll be able to access them quicker. Don't worry about anything, just click this big button here. See the one that says start optimizing? Well that's the one that will start optimizing your registry. You click here, now it comes up with this, after optimise, an immediate reboot is necessary. Do you want to start optimising the registry? Right, we're going to click yes. If you've got any other programs up and running, I would save your stuff before doing this, because anything that's opened and you're working on any documents, you're going to lose them. So, save everything, and now we'll click yes. And now what it's doing is it's defragmenting the registry. 